being different with the auto ISL. You are? And so far it's not, it's too bright. Why are you trying something different? Because it's more convenient. ISL is like what we change all the time to make the, the brightness right on the camera. It's kind of not convenient to like change it, but I tried the auto and so far not good. But yeah, anyways, to. welcome to today's vlog. We have a few exciting updates. One, we went and saw Justin Bieber in concert and it was so, oh, yeah. so good. It was a few nights ago. I have taken a few days to recover now. It was amazing. We bought our tickets back in 2020. The tour was rescheduled, like supposed to be 2021, now 2022. Lauren was actually gonna get me a ticket for I think Christmas or something. So she was texting me about it way back then. She was like, hey, I'm gonna get three tickets, one for me, you and my sister for like your Christmas present but would Parker be sad if you went without him and I'm like I don't think he'll care but let's just ask and the answer was yes he was sad because well, we actually had here, tickets yeah here's the story for... it's not like I was bummed that I was missing out it was more like a special yes. thing that we were like we've been trying to go for years okay? yeah we there was first two... bought tickets yeah two different times. We were supposed to go in Vegas probably like six years ago and then we had a trip or something so we sold those tickets and then we bought tickets for up here a couple years later and something else came up so we gave those tickets to my mom and Avery. So basically we've just been wanting so yeah. to go So it's something forever. that I've wanted to do for a long time. I would have felt bummed that he I missed out. He has a crush on Justin Bieber. And he I might have a little go. crush. It's I might have a little story. man crush. Especially after seeing him. It was it was pretty I cool. already had a crush but now we both do. So I stole Lauren's present and said I'll buy the tickets because Parker wants to go so I'll give it to you for Christmas so two years later we finally got to go and it was so good and it was our first time ever being on the floor I splurged yeah. and bought floor tickets and usually I'm not really a concert person and I like to be able to sit down at a concert I'm kind of lame so I don't usually even like have a desire to be on the floor but I'm converted after that it was amazing yeah it was and we really pretty cool. much were second row we were row 12 but the stage was like shaped like this like it came out in the front so row 12 was even closer to like the front of was where like he was like basically front row for most of the time it was like row so, 12 was row one and then there was like negatives like going inward yeah you know? but yeah so the people on the very edge seats got to be like right up against the gate and then we were just like right there so it was yeah. basically like first or second row we were yeah we were like second row so anyways it was amazing um that's the update that's the update we're at the now storage unit a now few days later yeah we have a it's 11 56 we have a meeting at one for our cabinets for the new house which is going to be exciting we've had all of our cabinet designs done for a while now but we need to just go through and kind of like finalize everything um we picked out our wood floor the other day i'll insert a picture parker showed you guys i think already oh, yeah, we but we're that. doing like a warm toned wood and then amy our designer had a few samples of other woods that we could pick for the cabinets but it's not those exact ones it was just like samples of like something similar so i think that today we'll see the exact see color it's getting bright this is what the iso is supposed to do when it's on auto but it just doesn't, doesn't work. work very good but anyways i don't know exactly what we're doing in the meeting but yeah house meetings are always fun and then we've been getting a lot of tile deliveries so i wanted to come and see kind of just like what we have basically because parker has been in charge of those i haven't seen a lot of the stuff that's come in obviously i like picked it all out but i kind of just want to see person. what we have so far so let's check it out this box over here felt like moist oh uh, what which i don't think that there's a leak but i think that I mean, the, it's very humid the in floor here. is not wet. I don't know. <gasps> Look how cute. So here's a little sneak peek of some tile that we got. I think this tile is for the girls' bathroom. Cove and Lola are going to share a bathroom. So I'm pretty sure that's where that's going to go. I think we're doing something similar to this in our showers, actually. Well, yeah. So there's that one and then there's this one that are... Similar? Similar. That might be for the laundry room floor. I think this is what we picked for the laundry room floor. And then we're actually supposed to have a really cute blue tile in there, but it's sold out and I'm really sad. So we're trying to find a replacement. Yeah, I went neutral for the floor and then wanted to do something fun. In the laundry room, we're gonna have like tile on like the whole wall. So that'll be very fun. Yeah, what's that one? What's or this that one? one? I don't know. This oh wait, no, this is for the laundry room floor. So maybe this is for... Yeah. Like the showers? You just, said, you just said that we're doing a similar one to that, right? That's very similar. Wait, that's a lot though. Yeah. I think we have a few different ones from that Maybe brand. there's different. This also looks like a lot. I don't know. And look, another one. Oh yeah. 
So this one is for the laundry room floor. Don't know where that goes, but somewhere. In our shower, maybe. It is pink. All right, these might look kind of, oh yeah, too bright. I can't really tell. These are like a super light pink. These are for the girls' bathroom too. It's gonna go on their shower. And then there's like these ones that we've opened. We have a box of each of those that might have shown this one but it's like a white and a kind of tan creamy color so this is going on the bathroom floor of our downstairs full bathroom and then this blue one is going up in the upstairs bathroom that's not the girls bathroom pretty sure i've showed this too but we have these for our half bath downstairs so i'm gonna lay it out like this so it's like big circles and the little circles. So I'm really excited for this one. It's so cute. And then we have the lilac one. This one we're doing like mostly solid tiles. And then there's a printed one that's the same color that'll be like kind of just in random spots. So these are gonna be so, so, so cute. I'm so excited. This is something I'm so excited for. This is the first thing that we got. We've had the, these for a long time. Yeah, we've time. had these for a long time. I've literally sink. wanted this for years. They're from Nude Co. And they're sinks for our bathroom. So I'm trying to keep things like not too crazy. I like, I wanted to do like the fun colorful things like the blue tile and whatever. But yeah, the sinks I definitely, these are bold I think. But they are. So these are gonna go in our bathroom and then we're gonna have wood vanities, like a, not a dark wood, but like medium color tone wood with these pink sinks. And then we have white floor tile. Oh, we haven't seen our bathroom floor tile. Our bathroom floor tile is just like rectangles that are white. But yeah, so we're doing those sinks in our bathroom. So that's the only place I'm doing pink sinks. And then the rest of the sinks are that same kind and they're gonna be just white. I think we only have maybe one or two bathrooms where we're not doing those sinks because I think they're not that practical for kids. Just when your kids are little, it's like right. harder for them to reach. And they make the sink higher, you know, unless we lower so, the counter, which maybe we should. No, I think in the girls' bathroom, we're just not doing those sinks. And then everywhere else we have them. So I think we just have one bathroom without those. But yeah, pink in ours and then white in the rest. And they're going to be so, so, so cute. It's starting to fill up in here. We have a couple lights that we've gotten already. What are, we've got all these boxes that are like, like what's in this and that and that. And we've got a mirror right here. Some like hardware stuff. So like toilet paper holder. Green gold for all the accessories like toilet paper holders and um, towel holders and stuff like that. Yeah, just, I'm guessing these are all just like the big light shade things, you know, like big yeah. light fixtures. are gonna be in our hallway so you walk in and it's all like open and then you can go straight to the living room or go to the kitchen or go down a hallway and these are gonna be going down the hallway and I'm so excited this is another thing I've wanted for like literally forever cool. it's gonna be so cute like look at that with these I love it it's gonna be cute guys I'm trying to decide I need to find a new laundry trial we've been looking we have a few samples coming and then yeah a few things have sold out our designer Amy has been really ahead with like everything that we're doing so we picked stuff out in advance we try to make sure we don't have any delays since a lot of stuff's just like backed up right now or like out of stock or whatever but a couple things that we picked out sold out before we could order them so we need to find new lights for one bathroom and then new tile for the laundry room yeah that's on the to-do list but we've also got one two three four five six seven pallets so we're gonna have a bonfire after yeah burn them haven't done that since high school yeah all right, let's go. Next stop is picking up lunch. We're picking it up from Walk the Line again, which is a place in Pleasant Grove that is so good. I did a DoorDash pickup. I don't know if I've ever even done a DoorDash pickup before because we usually have it delivered, but it's now 12.38. So hopefully it's done soon. We to our meeting at one. But it's only three minutes away. Three minutes away, yeah, we came close. So. So hopefully it's done soon. Yeah, but while we're waiting, I wanted to say thank you to Caseify for sponsoring today's video. You guys know Caseify is our favorite phone cases ever. We both yes. have them on our phones. Springtime is coming and they have a lot of really cute prints out right now for spring. Or they have lots of cute solid ones. Like I've been obsessed with this one. Parker also has a solid one on his case. Solid black. 
Their new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. They come in 100% recycled packaging made with recycled paper and non-toxic ink made from soybeans. Wow. They're also 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous and have an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. Their Chitec 2.0 technology is also drop test approved for drops of up to 9.8 feet. You can go to casefy.com slash Aspen and Parker to get 15% off of your new favorite phone case. And we're gonna have the link in the description box for you guys if you want to check that out. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. Is it for Aspen? Yeah. Pick up for Aspen. Actually, no, it's for you. It's for Parker? Yeah. All right, Parker's back with our food. I just made a TikTok. And my mm. I got the big one. Parker got Very the good. small one. Yeah, I didn't think you'd get the big one. Well, they would only let me pick three veggies if I got the small one, and the big one let me pick five. And when you're only eating veggies and rice, I want like multiple veggies. Mm. Mm. So good. I didn't think about this does make for good leftovers too. Yeah, I know. So That's I didn't why think I was about that. I should have. Parker doesn't even get the curry sauce. If you guys come here, you have to get the curry sauce. He gets teriyaki, which is just not. I think it's just as good. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> So now I am doing some errands and I'm gonna take you guys along. Not very many, just some quick things. I gotta run to UPS and I need to drop something off to Lauren down the street. All right, we'll see how long this takes for me to go in and come out. I'm gonna take a picture so I can show you how this is uh, set up. I'm gonna leave it, I'll be right back. Wow, that was only four minutes. Next stop, I am dropping something off at Lauren's house. Yeah. Now that I'm done there, I think I'm gonna go home, pick up Luma, and take her to get a new bed. Hey, Luma. I think she knows where we are. Do you know where we are? <gasps> I think she knows. Are you excited? Should we go get some new treats? And a new bed? Oh, she sees another dog. You wanna go in there? Okay. You wanna pick out a treat? I'm gonna let you pick out a treat. Do you want one of these fake bones? This is fun. You wanna just walk around the store for a minute? Sounds fun too. I'll follow you. I found the beds. Which one do you want? We need a durable one for outside, huh? Maybe like this? Oh, these are See how big this is. This is the one. Huh. All right, so now Parker is out getting a haircut. He finally found a place that he likes to cut his hair. I feel like after three years of living here we're like just starting to find like certain places and like things that we like out here for like random things like that we just found a groomer that we like we've been through multiple different groomers for luma she's had some very very bad haircuts we actually just went to the dentist which was yesterday so that's actually going to be in our next vlog i'm just like finishing up filming this vlog today yeah parker's doing that lola's napping and cove is doing it quiet time so i'm just finishing up editing this vlog I'm trying to think if we have any other like like house updates yeah our meeting went well so basically what we did was kind of just go over all of the different cabinet designs like I said we've already had everything drawn up for quite a while but they just need like details of everything if we wanted anything changed and then they're gonna make up some samples for just different colors that we would maybe pick and we have a few different um basically like the faces of the cabinets like if they're flat or if they have like detail on them or like the little border thing around the edge. So I'm excited to kind of see what the next update is with those. So once we have more of an update on like what we actually chose, we can show you guys that. Let's see, what else did we do today? I went to gymnastics, which we were talking about maybe pulling her out of there because she just seems to not really like going there anymore. Every time that we're like, oh, it's like gymnastics day. She's like, no, I want to stay home. And I'm like, um, 
well we're going but i don't want you to like have to go if you really don't like it so we're trying to decide what to do with that i kind of want to pull her out so that we just have like free days in the summer and we don't have to like be anywhere but i can't decide yet and i already paid for april so and then it's kind of like a weird time to start anything else because i feel like if i put her in dance or something like that they're like finishing up for the season they have like recitals in may i don't really know what other activities i feel like i don't know if she's old enough for soccer and i don't think it's even soccer season i feel like she's just like a little bit too young like even if she's like there's a place that does soccer for kids that young i don't quite know if she like would be there yet i don't know i want her to have fun at gymnastics but yeah it always takes her like at least half of the class time to get warmed up and be into it but there's actually not really a lot of kids in her class she was the only one for a little bit and there was a different teacher before and it was like a little bit less structured so she's kind of used to just like running around and doing whatever and now there's a teacher that has a lot of structure and there are like some other kids in the class i'm trying to figure out if we're gonna do any summer activities for her or if we're gonna just have like a chill summer we also have a few trips coming up we're actually going i think i mentioned this a couple vlogs back but we actually are going to portland soon which i'm really excited about we're gonna go see my friend megan hughes i think i told you guys in a vlog and i said guess like what old youtube friend i was going to see and i haven't seen her in so many years so i'm super excited and we love portland we haven't been there in a really long time so that'll be really fun to go visit her that'll actually be our first trip with both girls I'm very nervous. I think the flight is pretty short. It's like under two hours, so it's not too bad. But we just haven't been anywhere with both of them. And there's so many logistics with like traveling with two kids. Like Cove still sleeps in a crib because they're pretty close in age. So you kind of need like two of a lot of things, like two car seats, two cribs. But the Airbnb that we're staying in only has one pack and play, but it has two beds. So just getting Cove to fall asleep in like a normal bed when she's not used to that. We're in a new place. I don't want her to like fall off on the edge. So I don't know. I'm kind of nervous, but it should be fun because it's just going to be a chill trip anyways. And I'm excited to see Megan. We have a few trips on the calendar. We literally have like one, two, three, four, five trips on the calendar for the next few months. Six actually, but that one is just like a girl's trip that I'm going on. But yeah, I am ready for summer and spring. I'm so over it being freezing. It's been kind of sunny, but it's still been pretty cold. So I'm ready for like flash pads to be open and just like the summer vibes. It like looks like it's warm outside but then you go out and it's still like kind of freezing and it was literally snowing like a week ago so anyways i think that is going to be it for today's vlog thank you again to case defy for sponsoring don't forget to check out casefy.com slash aspen parker for 15 percent off your new favorite phone case cove is also a case defy fan these are all of our cases cove lined all of those up she loves to play with them too i love this print and then i love all these fun floral ones so they have lots of good stuff definitely make sure you guys check them out anyways that is the update for now and see you guys in our next vlog bye guys <laughs>